this nasty shit. So somebody just threw their shit out here in the middle of the goddamn street last night. It's right on the side of my apartment building. Just some nasty ass people. Oh, people make me sick. Good morning, beautiful people of the world. You all just saw a clip of me showing you the shit that people put out in the goddamn street. Whole McDonald's bag of bullshit out here in the, on the side of the apartment building. People truly make me sick. They really do. How you just throw all your shit out the goddamn window or drop it and don't pick it up? It's nasty, motherfuckers, I swear. Anyway, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? I mean, just all down the street, just nothing but goddamn trash. Just trash, just trash. You know, you wonder why the city is infested with fucking rats. This is in Chicago, if you don't know. Those of you all that may be looking at this video for the very, very, very first time. Anywho. You know, I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just fed up this morning. I really am. And not because of anything that directly happened to me, but a young man, 21 years of age, was killed yesterday. Um, let me retract. Not yesterday, Sunday night. He was trying to rob him. I mean, just a cute, cute kid, 21 years old, his mother's only child. He was murdered. Not too far from where my mother lived. They were trying to rob him. He was driving, driving, and they were trying to rob him. And they shot him in the head. And he tried to, you know, drive to get away. And he crashed into a wall. <sighs> and he died. I am just disturbed. I really, really am disturbed. You know, I told you all that one of my good, good girlfriends um, lost her son last weekend to murder. My other girlfriend lost her son to murder in July. So it's like July, August, back, both of them back to back. And to know that this 21 year old black kid and they were black um were was murdered sunday night over nothing 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 good kid his mother's only child only child pray for the city of Chicago and that you all pray for every city in this country because we are just in a war zone. You know, I wish sometimes, sometimes I wish we could go back to the days where we didn't have cell phones, where you didn't have social media. Um, because it just seems to me like all of this that we have this new technology all this new technology all this stuff you know it seemed like you know people are getting killed over their phones uh, you know uh, they want to take your phone they want to carjack you you know I mean I just wish we could go back to simpler times I guess that's what I'm saying although it's great to have these you know, devices that we have. But it's just, you know, it's just sad. And his mother was on yesterday uh, afternoon. Just, I mean, just distraught as she should be. My heart just goes out to her. It just breaks my heart. It really just makes me want to just bust out crying really and truly it really does my heart is just heavy this morning it's just really really heavy i just you know my heart is just heavy 
all of our black teens, all of our young black men are being slaughtered in these streets over nothing. And it's young black men who are killing our young black men. We're killing each other. And then we, we have what happened in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, where the white guy went into the grocery store, Dollar General over the weekend and killed three black people. And one was another black young man who is 24 years old and has a child to leave behind. Another black child that won't be raised by a black father. I mean, it's just, and, and, and you know, this goes back to this whole Ron DeSantis bullshit of him trying to, you know, take away uh, the history books, black history or anything talking about racism or slavery or anything to that nature. You know, he's so worried about white kids learning about what white folk did to black folk, how they hung us you know, how they raped our women, uh, on and on and on, you know? And um, this is the whole propaganda bullshit, you know, this whole, this, 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 all this, this, you know, the, the racism, it's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And to have something like that happen, you know, where he's the governor of that state, you know, it just proves what I'm saying about, you know, um, how it's just so, we are just so messed up. You know, we just so messed up as a country. I'm just, I'm just fed up. I'm just fed up. Anywho, y'all. I hope y'all having a good day. I hope you've had a good day if you already have ended your day. And I hope you have a good day if you're starting your day. I'm getting ready to start mine. Um, I don't know what else to talk to you all about. I'm just, I'm kind of stuck to be honest with you. I'm just stuck. I really am. I am just stuck. I'm, I'm at a loss for just I'm just at a loss for words. I'm just I don't I don't even know how to express the heartbreak that I feel for these mamas for this for this community in Florida that that you know lost three people. You know as if we don't have enough to worry about. COVID and all these uh, cancer and all these other diseases that people are dying from. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, I'm just, just I'm just sad. I'm just really, really sad. You know, I just woke up this morning just feeling depressed, to be honest with you. Feeling just really depressed and really down. And, you know, and you try so hard not to worry about anything, you know, um, you try so hard not to uh, think about, you know, um, bad things or try not to let it consume you, but it's really, really hard, especially when it's so many young people that are being killed for no, no reason for nothing as my friend wrote on my Facebook page my personal Facebook page over nothing you know everybody in the world is just so damn self absorbed about themselves nobody is looking out for nobody you know nobody is thinking about you know like we just I mean all our young people are being killed they don't have no young people in a minute. Because they 
can't go have no young people. You can't send your kid off to college. You know, the, the kids up in that college, uh, the four roommates, you know, why did he kill them? I don't understand. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the four white kids. It was all over the news forever. I'm just not understanding. He went in there and killed them. Why? Can't send them to college. Can't send them to high school. Can't send them to grammar school. They in grammar school. They little babies in grammar school. And they're being killed in grammar school. Can't put them on the bus. Can't take them to the park. Can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You can't go to an amusement park. You can't go to a concert, an outdoor concert, because it's a gunman up in the window. That was in Vegas. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I'm just tired. But then you got these funky ass, fucked up Republicans. They're always on there talking about my right to carry a gun. Ain't nobody trying to take your motherfucking right from taking a, a, a having a gun. Ain't nobody talking about that. We talking about having some type of gun law laws in this country. And y'all don't want to do that. But the mass shootings continue, continue. Every day, stupid ass crime continues, continues. And y'all, you know, I don't like to talk about politics on YouTube because I don't know uh, what your political affiliations is and nor do I care. But it's just that I'm kind of sick of I'm sick of them, you know. And their um, their reasons for uh, why they don't want certain laws when it comes to guns, I'm just sick of that. So I'm not gonna get into the politics part of it, you know, because I got a whole whole lot to say about Republicans. So you already know I'm not a Republican. I'm Democrat. And I know it's, people talk about the Democrats too. And both parties are screwed up in a lot of ways. I'm not saying that. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to talk about that. But I, I am going to talk about how so many of our young kids, children, black, especially black, are being killed in these inner city communities. Um, and, and, you know, it's just like I said, you just can't send your kids nowhere. You know, you just can't send them nowhere. It's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. But anyway, on a lighter note, I'm going to get off of that because it's just too depressing to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think of something, something to talk about. I really don't have a subject to talk about, um, but I will say this, um, you know, I was looking at a comment that somebody wrote uh, on my YouTube channel, I, it was on yesterday's video when I gave out my email address, and this person was saying, you know, be careful about giving out your personal information because of hackers. Well, that's not my personal email. That's my business email. The CC Fashion is my passion at gmail.com. That is my email address that um, my uh, sponsors, brands email me on. Um, that's my um, email for my subscribers. It's not my personal email. You know, it's not my personal email. None of you all are on my personal Facebook page. I do have a CC Fashion is my passion Facebook page, but it's not my personal page. I don't accept, hardly ever do I accept new people. Um, people send me friend requests all the time. Unless I know you, I'll accept. If I don't, I, I don't accept you. Um, so I just want to make that clear to the person who wrote that. You know, they was just looking out for me. She said she loves my channel. So thank you so much for looking out for me. Thank you for um, saying that. Um, but again, uh, it is not my personal email address. It is a business email address for people to contact me for business inquiries 
and for subscribers. So I just want to clear that up. Um, and, um, you know, I also was talking to um, somebody yesterday. We were just talking about, you know, how, you know, about not giving your all to, to, to people. You know, you have to pour into people that pour into you. And I truly am a believer of that. You know, um, sometimes we can pour too much into people. And, you know, we are the ones that become drained because we're pouring, we're pouring, we're pouring. And then we have nothing left for ourselves. So be careful who you pour into. You know, be careful. If you want to pour into somebody, that's fine. But make sure that you get, you, you're not the one getting dried out. That you're getting it back and you still, you know, have something left for yourself, you know. Um, and then I want to talk to you all about this whole Steve Harvey and his wife saga. You know, let me say this. I don't even believe that that's true. If you don't know what I'm talking about, apparently, supposedly, she had, she has cheated on him with the, their cook or their bodyguard. I don't even know. The bullshit is really what that what it is. Bullshit. I know a lot of people don't like Steve Harvey. I don't feel one way or the other about him. I don't like him and I don't dislike him. He I, you know what I'm saying? He ain't somebody that, you know. Over the years, I've watched his TV shows. I've watched his talk show. I've watched when he did the game show with the little kids. Uh, now he doing the judge thing. I watched that. Because, you know, it's comedy. It's funny. But, and I bought his book. I only bought that one book from him. And it was about relationships. And um, I, I, I don't dislike him. But what I find to be so interesting is that people want him and his wife to divorce so badly. They want them to divorce so badly. Now, whatever way you feel about him or her, his wife, Marjorie, whatever. Whatever your personal views, that's fine. But, you know, people cannot stand to see people happy. Because they are so goddamn miserable. It's been rumored, 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 rumored that they're getting a divorce. And it's been going, this rumor been going on for some years. I just don't believe that they're getting a divorce. And if they do get a divorce, it ain't going to be because of some of this bullshit people saying about her uh, having sex with the cook. And I, I just don't believe that. I don't believe that. People see a story and they run with it and they post it all on social media. You know, um, and it don't even be true. But I guess my point is, is that, you know, leave people alone. Let people be happy. Um, their marriage, their relationship, their ups and downs, turnarounds really ain't our business and nor should we care because they're really not your personal friends. So why do you care? But I just, I just find it interesting how people just love the drama of other people's lives. And they ain't even got their own life in order. They ain't even got a relationship or a marriage to them. They damn selves. You know, can't get a man. Can't keep one. Same, same way with a man. Can't keep a woman. Can't get a woman. Because they fuck. Y'all are just messed up in the head. But y'all so concerned. Not y'all. Just hypothetically speaking, you know, y'all so concerned about somebody else's life and somebody else's marriage. Leave these people alone. It's just, it, it, I, I'm just like, really? And, and they just cannot stand to see these two people happy. And I really believe that they are happy with each other and that they're in love and they really love each other. They probably argue, they probably get on each other's nerve. They probably do everything that every other couple who is in a relationship do. But why do we care? Why is it our business? I guess that's what I'm saying. I know that there's a, he's a celebrity. And so, you know, because he's on TV and he's who he is, you know, we be in they be, we be in celebrities' businesses. But I, I, don't, I don't care. I really don't. And I don't know what's happening with the Lizzo thing. I ain't heard nothing else about that. Now, that, to me, was an interesting story. And I know she had lost some brand deals behind it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't 
haven't really been keeping up again because I don't keep up with celebrities like that. Whatever I hear, I hear about it on the news or I read it on Facebook or Twitter. Or I'm not on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Oh, let somebody tell me. But I don't know. But the funniest thing happened yesterday when I was getting ready to leave work, getting ready to punch out. One of my co-workers put on, up on the time clock somebody stole her nuts and she said whoever stole my nuts I hope your mother chokes that was a bit extreme but I was cracking up and then all the you know I work with mostly men in this construction business most of the, the men that was coming at the time clock was like I, I don't have her nuts I got my nuts it was just the jokes oh my God, these men ran with this. Oh, I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so goddamn hard. It was so damn funny. It was hilarious. Hilarious. She was mad that somebody stole her nuts, child. I don't know who stole. She was low, low down, pissed off, baby. hand punch and I'll be back I'm back I'm back when a damn punched let me ask y'all a question is it just me or is it that when you put gas in your car it seem like it run out real quick what the hell they putting in this goddamn gas water cause I swear this shit don't stick it do not stick It don't, it, it, it don't stick. Everybody coming on in. Come around and turn around. I put gas in my car. This is Saturday. $54 worth of gas. Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. Because I went and met my friend Saturday. Kind of far out. Not far, far, but. <sighs> I don't understand it. And it's already down. It's not on half. It's not on all the way on E. It's like it's past the half line. Yes, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I have a four-cylinder car. So my, you know, it's not like I got a big, uh, I got an eight-cylinder or whatever, or a six-cylinder. This is a four-cylinder. And when I tell you, <clears throat> it burns so much gas, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can't drive nowhere. You just burn gas. Oh, God. I'm so, so sleepy. I'm still sleepy. I am sleepy. I did too much this weekend. I, Friday night, I couldn't go to sleep. By the time I went to sleep, it was midnight. Saturday, I had to get up at 3 and be here by 5. Saturday night, I went out. Then I turned around Sunday and had to be up early to take my mom to the hairdresser. Then Sunday afternoon, I went back out and didn't get home until 9 o'clock, Sunday night. And when I tell y'all, at 53 years of age, I can definitely say that I can do what I used to do when I was in my 30s and 40s. I just can't. I no longer had the energy. I can't stay up. I can't stay out or up 
to the 2 a.m. in the morning no more. I can't kick it no more to 2 or 3 a.m. Child, I will be tired for two weeks if I did that. Mm-mm-mm. I'm trying to get ready for my trip, y'all, because I go to Myrtle Beach at the end of September in the first week of October. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to wear. And then next weekend, not this weekend, but the following weekend, I'm going to take Chris shopping because homecoming is October 6th. So, I'm going to take him shopping to see if we can find him a suit. This boy going to tell me that he wants, he's so funny. He, I said, what do you want to wear? Uh, what are you wearing? I'm going to wear a tux and a suit. I said, you can't wear both. You either can wear a tux or you're going to wear a suit. Okay, well, I'll wear a suit. He said, but I want my shirt to be open. And I want to button my shirt down. And I want to have my chain on. I said, no. He looked at me. He said, what? I said, no. You ain't opening up your shirt. You ain't buttoning your shirt all the way down to the middle part of your chest. And all of that. No. You 15 years old. And you're going to dress like a 15-year-old. Sorry, not sorry. Or don't go. He think I am the biggest bitch. He think I am so mean. But. Let me say this. I don't believe in boys or girls looking sexy when they're teenagers. You got your whole goddamn life to look sexy as an adult. When you 18, 19 years old, you can get your sexy on. But 15 years old, you're a sophomore in high school, you will not be sexy. And if I had a daughter, she wouldn't be sexy either. You ain't wearing no splits all the way up your, the crack of your ass. No, 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 just no. It's not happening. So he said, I can't wear my shirt open. I said, no, you cannot. He's like, but I said, no, you cannot. You're going to wear your shirt button up and you're going to put on a tie or you don't even have to wear a tie. You can have a couple of buttons open, but you ain't buttoning nothing all the way down here. And I told him, I said, no, nobody wants to see them little bones anyway. You ain't got no damn chest. What you trying to do? Mm -mm. You're going to stay a kid. You're going to stay 15. You want a homecoming. And you're going to look presentable going to homecoming. My mother, you know, my mother, oh, let him, no, no, no. That's it, that's all. I don't even care if she said, well, I'm going to buy the suit. I don't care. And he's still going to wear his shirt buttoned up. Period. That's the type of mama I am, you know. I don't believe in I don't believe in teenagers looking sexy. I'm sorry. I just don't. I think you can you you can look handsome and you can look beautiful without doing all of that extra. I see these 18-year-olds going on prom, the girls, they they got low cut uh, you know, gowns on. You know, prom is not about looking sexy. Prom is it's a formal event. And it's supposed for, it's, it's a, a way of celebrating, you know, formality, you know, being formal. You know, back in the day when my mother then was going on prom, they, everybody wore the big, them big hoop skirts or whatever, or the long gown. That's what prom is supposed to be about. Not supposed to be about, you know, you having these, uh, shirts all the way down and these girls got a thousand and one tattoos or whatever or split uh up your a split all the way up your thigh or all the way up the back of your thigh no no mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's not what it's that's not what that's about no it's not what prom is supposed to be about you got time. You got plenty of time to be a grown-ass woman and grown-ass man and be sexy. But not at 15. Not at 16. Not at 
17, 18, when you're getting ready, come out of high school and you want on prom and you looking that sexy. Mm -mm. I wouldn't spend not one dime on a girl's prom dress. I had a girlfriend whose daughter, I mean, her dress was just doing the most. And she said, well, she worked and she paid for it because, you know, she had a job through high school. I don't care what she had. She wouldn't have wore that. She would not have wore what she had on. Sometimes we just, these kids want to herp and rush and be what grown folks are. And as parents, we have to say, listen, that's not appropriate. And, I, you know, and I'm the type of parent, and I know a lot of people may may not be like this with their children. I don't give a damn about Christopher being mad at me or being upset with me because I don't let him do certain things. I don't care. I know what I'm doing. And if I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing, then I wouldn't even bother. But I know what I'm doing. And you're not doing that. So yesterday he had a scratch on his arm. He said that him and some kids was roughhousing or whatever. And this girl scratched him. So I told him, don't be grabbing on no girl, roughhousing with no girl. I said, because she'll say that you assaulted her. Keep your hands to yourself and have her keep her hands to herself. And it was a pretty deep scratch, you know. And uh, he said it bled a little bit. So I, my mother had him put some Neosporin on it or whatever. But I'm just trying to teach my son that what you do that you think is innocent, somebody else can see that or she can go and say something and you could be in a lot of trouble because there is something called sexual harassment even in these schools. I'm just trying to teach Chris things because he don't know. You know, he don't know and he don't see the world as the way I see it and what I know about it because he's only 15. And that's why at 15, you're going to act like you're what? 15, okay? You're not going to be with all this, I want to be sexy, I want to be sexy bullshit. No, 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 it ain't happening. I wanted to show you all these earrings. I don't know if I have time. See these earrings this is the necklace and the earrings so you all remember to me i showed you all these earrings that this young lady made for me and i'll put her information in here i gotta find i, I thought she put a card in here but she didn't but these are these pair she made me some other blue ones and they were just i just wanted these to be a little bit bigger Okay, so that's these. Let's see. And then she made me these. They pretty? Handmade jewelry. Very, very pretty. Put those over there. And then this is a necklace and earrings. And I'm going to wear this Sunday to the all class picnic because my colors are blue and gold. Here's the blue and yellow. And then this is the charm that goes on the necklace. And then she gives you also the little uh, connector to put the necklace on. And somebody, I had showed her jewelry once before and somebody had asked me for her information. So I will get that to you. I'm going to try to put it in here in this video. Here's the necklace. See, there's the extender. So you just so it will snap down. Here. Oh, there you go. So you put the charm on here. Okay. For this. For this set. I love her jewelry, handmade jewelry. I've got a couple of pieces from her that I really, really like. 
So, I just wanted to show you all that. And like I said, I will get her information. Somebody else had asked me for her information and I didn't list it. But I will list it in this video. I'll get uh, the proper her proper website and all of that. And I'll make sure that I put it in this video. But girl, I love her stuff. It's different. You know, you see yourself coming and going in her jewelry. That's what I really like about it. And it's made, it's good quality. Like this is just, it's, it's not nothing about it that's flimsy. Nothing. I don't know how she make this jewelry. But it's good, good hardware on this, on her jewelry. Good hardware. All right, y'all. It's time for me to go in here and find out where I'm going today. I think I'm going back up north. Put this back in the bag. Go on time for me to put my shoes on. Go use the bathroom. And head on back up to where we were working yesterday. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. Have a great and fabulous Tuesday. And I'll see you in the next video, girl. Okay. Bye.